Team of maneuver for the second division. Combat team eight at how hour on dog day. Land on beaches green one and green two with two landing teams abreast. Secure the point between beaches green two and three and also the landing point on beach green three for tanks. Direct the landing of companies A and B reinforced second tank battalion. C sugar mill area. Also the following hill target areas and that portion of the O1 line within its zone of action. Combat Team 6, at how hour on dog day, land on beaches red 2 and 3, with two landing teams abreast. Seas O1 line, lying within assigned zone of action and cover left or north flank. Combat Team 2, after completion of its diversionary demonstration at Tanapag Harbor, and upon arrival in the transport area, land on order on beaches red 2 and 3, with two landing teams abreast. Landing team two will come in on the right. Upon landing, landing team two, second marines, will be attached to combat team six. Landing team two, sixth marines, will be attached to combat team two. Division reserve, be prepared to land on order. Division artillery, land on division order. 2nd Armored Amphibious Battalion covers the landing and movement of assault waves to the O-1 line. Assist in protecting the division flanks. Scheme of Maneuver, 4th Division. Combat Team 23 at how hour on dog day land on beaches Blue 1 and 2. And with its main effort initially on the left, sees the O-1 line within its zone of action. Then on division order, and with its main effort on the right, advance rapidly to the O-2 line. Seize Aslito Airfield and the remainder of O-2 within its zone of action. Combat Team 25, at how hour on dog day, land on beaches yellow, 1 and 2. Seize O-1 line within its zone of action. Then on division order, advance rapidly and seize the O-2 line within its zone of action. Assist Combat Team 23 in the capture of Aslito Airfield and protect the division right flank. Combat Team 24, land on division order on beaches blue or yellow and prepare to support the attack. Shortly after 0800, control vessels hoisted their Wave 1 flag. The LCKs headed toward the beach and the first wave started for the line of departure. The 2nd Division found only weak resistance when it hit the beaches. And by 0900 had advanced about 500 yards. Then, enemy resistance, supported by artillery and mortar fire, became exceedingly stiff. On the other hand, the 4th Division encountered heavy resistance immediately upon landing.
despite the heavy bombardment, landing mines were still a threat. The dangerous areas were marked off and the mines removed. By 0920, the diversionary force off Tanapag returned to its ships and re-embarked. No fires had been received from shore and no enemy movements were observed. By late afternoon, the second division had established a line which looked like this. At the same time, the fourth division had created a line as follows. Toward evening, conditions improved somewhat. Elements on the right of the second division had captured a radio station. By 1508 on D-Day, the fourth tank battalion of the fourth division and the second tank battalion of the second division were beginning to land. Almost at the same time, three battalions of the 14th Marine and the second battalion of the 10th Marine had commenced landing. The 24th Corps artillery remained afloat. Day's end saw the troops firmly established ashore and about 50% of the 01 line secured. To the southeast, about 2,000 yards, lay Aslito Airport, most important single factor in the winning of Saipan. To provide more suitable ground for defense against the expected enemy counterattack during the night of D-Day, elements of both the 2nd Marine Division and 4th Marine Division were withdrawn to this line. The Japs, attacking savagely twice during the night and once at dawn of D plus one day, made every effort to drive us back into the sea. Regimental Combat Team 25 repulsed an enemy counterattack which began at 0430 on D plus one. From the direction of Garapan, a Jap force attacked the left flank of the sea. This nip attempt was smashed with the aid of naval and air support. Another counterattack was launched against the left flank of Combat Team 23. It, too, was unsuccessful. While the counterattacks were being blunted and stopped, Regimental Combat Team 8 was successfully securing Green Beach 3. It also captured the pier at Charon Kanoa, permitting use of the channel for landing of all types of small craft. Smashing forward in a coordinated attack, the 4th Division executed a pivot movement, which gained it a thousand yards. Our tanks spearheaded the attack. dark, one regiment of the 27th Infantry Division was being landed in the area of the 4th Marine Division. The plan for the next day called initially for the advance of lines so that space would be created in which to land the remainder of the 27th and Corps troops. With nightfall, the enemy remained true to form. He counterattacked. The major counterattack of this night was thrown against the 2nd Division at 0330. One hour later, the Jap attack had been smashed. Our bazookas, half-track, and medium tank fire knocked out 31 enemy tanks in this action. <laughs> 